Hey, it's how you taste it, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Together and Rolls. Yay! <laughs> Last time we left off the Silver Menagerie. Our new debated individually together. attempted to put an end to Vedic's chaotic uh, mortal presence in, uh -huh. their own, uh, in their own distinct way. As the exalted Vedic Prime uh, explained in his little passionate uh, Phil Tantrum ways on why all of this is worth it. What just happened in every exposition, 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 exposition. Unknowing that the event that just happened will be named the disaster of gold, being written <laughs> in the history books across all of the <laughs> oh, <that's awesome>. yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. across all of the Mara, your home world. <laughs> that was my nickname in prison. <laughs> 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 I thought it was the only hole. <laughs> oh. But currently, you all sit on the now rickety, whole deteriorated, main spell jammered's deck, freshly named the Patent Pending, that currently rockets uh. through the Astral Sea, propelled by the uh, energized <laughs> energies of the spell Slinger, seeing the expansive universe of the multiverse and galactic scale at large that dwarves your life's long strifes to insignificant, insignificant grains of cosmic sand in the wind. As you watch expansive cities on floating asteroids anchored next to the corpses of dead gods, forever forgotten name and passion, as you all sit eating falafels <laughs> with a proud Todd successfully- I got the falafel recipe. Yes, you got a falafel recipe. Well, that's just like your opinion, man. <laughs> Quinn! Yes. The group has temporarily forgotten about you, and they do not know where you are, so we're going to bring to you in the lower decks of the ship with your new, uh, hired companion of this voyage, right? They gave you a nonchalant, basic, oh, normal right. human name that is definitely not his name. <laughs> you, to explain why you disappeared, has basically, uh, When Vedic got grabbed by the warden, you knew shit was going to hit the fan, and by normal, uh, you know, basic, <laughs> like, this is how you start combat kind of situation, you, sub, uh, you immediately used the hunter's eye of your vestige on the warden itself. You looked into the void itself and saw the seven within one. You remember taking in and drinking in the information that made the warden through the void. And you've never read a creature that was more alien and broken. And as you saw the sky break and time warp around you as a sea of Vedex fell from the sky. That was the terrifying part, the sea of Vedex. You blacked out. No one can blame you. Yeah. <laughs> I have... There was a big crunching it? sound above you on the, on the deck. Still Stop is. blowing arms in my ship. You don't remember much as a time face. You don't remember everything about what you've learned about the war. And the things you do remember, you know that it's only part of what you are allowed to remember. You remember its body traits and nothing more. You do not know of the seven entities in the one. And every time you try to remember, you find yourself mum muttering silently, comforting void. Nothing carries relief. Null is mercy. And you also, as you're starting to come to, you realize that you're warm, but specifically moist. Oh. Pop the bottle. As, we, as the camera pans to the upside down, hugging the ceiling in the underbellies of the ship, uh, your void uh, Drake companion that has a oozed center pops and you come spilling out onto the uh, floor of the bottom deck of the vessel as it quickly, after half second, after it just kind of separates from you, it goes <laughs> and goes back into its body. As it just kind of eyes you up and down with its various eyes across its body. I hate how disturbingly familiar that sensation was. <laughs> <laughs> I should call her. <laughs> Queen has been around. <laughs> With that saying, you notice that 
you feel a breeze in the lower decks of the ship. And you look over to see a giant hole in the side of the deck that is spanning multiple, like, decks just gashed into the side of the ship. And you can hear the ship groaning as it uh, screeches across the astral sea, has various uh, uh, wonders, essentially, being an extra planter that you are now. Seeing various space whales, fish, entities coming in and out, but you are rocking so fast that whatever you see is big enough that it, it encompasses a lot of your vision, but just, just whips by. Whips by. We needed a bigger window. <laughs> <laughs> you hear chickens on the above head. You hear crew walking around on a time where things are maintained, things have calmed down. You don't hear any screaming. You hear. Yeah, just the creak of the ship. I don't hear screaming. Something's very wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I, uh, pressed it to just eat myself clean. Easy enough. I, uh, it takes a few times, though. Yeah. yeah like the I, it, actually, I take it back. Like, I take off the clothes that I had on, like... Yeah. Yeah. Put on clean clothes after, you know cleaning myself, all the viscous goo from myself. Mm -hmm. Don my, you know, armor, my so my sword, which is also a bow, my various other accoutrement, and the big tri-cornered hat with this ridiculously long feather. Not sure where that came from. But we, we don't ask questions yeah. here. It's and, stylish. and go striding out onto the deck to survey what has transpired. Yeah. Just make a perception check real quick. I'm decent at those. I rolled a six. <laughs> you know, that matched the energies of last game as well. <laughs> so that six turns into... <coughs> 20. 20? Jesus <laughs> Christ. Uh, Are you sure it matches the energy of last game? <laughs> remind me what your eye uh, sees. I was meaning to read it before today's game, but I ran out of time because of things. Uh, like, I know it sees, like, you illusions and stuff like that. Oh, God. Um... True sight at all times. I'm immune to the blind condition. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. It was like magical darkness as I well. I roll three dice whenever I ignore the roll two because of advantage. Uh, I experience premonitions of seen and unseen dangers and cannot be surprised. And then there's the hunter eye, which does all kinds of crazy shit for me too. I'm reading the definition of true sight. No, I'm not I, yeah. not, okay, and see, invisibility. True sight, I think, gives you invisible creatures, illusions, everything. Losing seat on that. Ah! So, as you're walking, you're looking across the ship. It's. What's the current hit points of the ship, David? Oh, not high. Look. Out of what? Not high. Yes. It's not so bad, but it's certainly. It's going to take a couple months to buff this out. Uh, mending. See, I had named the ship the Lawn Dog right. originally. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, indeed. Yes. They, they did uh, not remember that. So yes, it yeah, is the Lawn Dog. They did. You did absolutely. Out of two hundred and fifty right. hit points, it is damaged by sixty-three. Sorry, one more time. Sixty-three. Out of what? Two hundred and fifty. It's down sixty-three, or it Dan has. No, its damage <laughs> is sixty-three. It's taken 63 points of damage. One of those people, I forget that. It has okay. taken 63 points of damage. Yeah. Okay, so, so I thought it was down to 100 and it's down to 100 and... It's a sizable dent. Okay. If it was at 63 hit points, I would start finding out which of my party members can swim through the astral sea. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were at 63 hit points. <laughs> it's still... It's... So you get to come back aboard. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... Uh, yeah, so that takes a lot of your... What? Um, <laughs> and you're this, is, this is the beginning intro in Guardian of the Galaxy when the camera just follows one person as he walks out of the group going, what the hell happened? There's stuff in the background. There's a firefight going on. <laughs> <laughs> There's gnomes running by shooting lasers. You know Speaking of which, you notice, you see Flint. You know Flint. This big War 4 uh, circle-like, no-neck, head in the middle of the uh, kind of almost upper so uh generally just sitting in the corner with a chicken and is kind of just petting the chicken just mindlessly looking out into the astral sea as you notice with your true sight with a perception of a 20 spot on by the way that's what you needed uh that chicken is a polymorph something 
And can we make an insight check real quick? Oh no. Another fucking medic here. <laughs> It was me the whole time! 25. 25? Yeah, you definitely know it's a familiar golden cobalt. For some reason, he's a chicken sitting on the lap of them. <coughs> Watching the various things that the Astral Sea and the wonders it has swim by as you rocket through space. I'm sure there is a... Well, not reasonable, but there's an acceptable explanation for this. <laughs> I'm sure there is a, a harrowing tale, and I'm saying this out loud, like kind of announcing my return to the, to, to the present. I'm sure there is a harrowing tale of escape and adventure that would detail why there is a hole blasted in the side of my ship. I'm sure there's even a reasonable, reasonably compelling explanation for um. The chicken cobalt thing. <laughs> uh, everyone, you hear uh, uh, Quinn. Yeah, I'm going to say just one deck below. That also has a hole in it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I am like out. There is no motion, no light. You're all I'm eating, smoldering. Yeah, and you're I all just eating falafels What's impressive on the top is, of the deck right now. And you see another Venet. What's impressive is that the, all the holes in the ship, none of them were created by foreign objects. They were all created by me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they were all created by you. Oh, maybe me. So right now there's two golden cobalt. I, I pull out a little, a little scrap of parchment. Mm -hmm. I scrawl a quick note. I snap my fingers and the, the pixie that exists just to send messages for me. Still dripping with this yeah. stuff. Yeah, hand it to hand it to him. Yeah. It's a message to Nick West that says, "I now understand." Shoves it in his <laughs> mouth <laughs> and just kind of continues shoving, and then it just kind of eats himself. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Pixie magic. Well, that's Pixie magic. magic. It goes Orbis. Man, Nick West has been involved a lot. In these <laughs> <couple of episodes. laughs> you quickly get. I'm going to say Nick West also. Writes back because after the phone call with Todd, uh, oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> oh my God, what you get? Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. It was the same, sending stone butt dial. <laughs> no, not butt dial. Not, not, butt dial. But not accidental. That was not an accidental. Nope. Nope. <laughs> it was very much. I'm going to say, just out of sheer for funny nature, I'm going to say Nicholas gives you a line of shadow magic. Mm hmm. That replays the scenario of about a several thousand Vedics that have died and gone through the Ravens to me. There's a reason why the planet of Velmara now has a ring. Brian, <laughs> in your words, would you kindly explain what he has missed? I, I, um... Because it would be in Vedic's uh, point of view. As <laughs> 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 it's his memory. I'm just picturing all the ant, all the Antmen from Quantumania. <laughs> it's very like, very like. In fact, um, there was a the the, the 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 he made me do it. Um, <laughs> it was not my fault. <laughs> well, let's 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 start there. Um, there was a a transdimensional rift. <laughs> uh, um, that caused many, many, many parallel and alternate Vedics. Specifically, it's 63,000 plus. Let's not go into numbers. <laughs> <laughs> to appear all at once. And um, we discovered that a great, great majority of them are after me. <laughs> <laughs> Surprising. <laughs> And 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 we got away, and and there there was a fight, and and X threw me. No, who was the one that threw me off the? I did. I bumped you <laughs> up. He threw you. I don't know. I didn't know if it was you. Sparks is throwing people overboard, and it is entirely unacceptable behavior. Well, I knew you could get back. So why did we keep I... one? That's right. Keep but one, the chicken. Sparks did. The chicken. <laughs> I would like to dart and grab the chicken. Make a attack roll. As Flint is currently sitting, hunched over, petting the chicken very delicately. 
Uh, Flint, and as soon as you Flint. make any sorts of movement, he immediately moves forward uh, in an almost guarded stance. Oh, Flint? Oh, no. Flint is... Okay. Flint? Under. I mean, what What do I add to it? I'm just grabbing it. Make it a general attack roll with your dagger. Make it an attack roll. Oh, you're just grabbing it? Yeah. Make an athletics or acrobatics check. You know, okay. Five, yeah, that's, roll that's, roll that let's do yeah. acrobatics then, and then well, that becomes... Well, let's roll a two. <laughs> 33? Whoa. 33? Okay. So it's a I, plus 16. Jesus. Like. So plus two ain't gonna do it. <laughs> so uh, before you even realize, you just got that you ring the neck of the chicken and you're currently holding it 20 feet away. It's, as Flint turns around, his eyes spark with energy and you notice that there's a line around his head that seems to be grating almost like a, uh, a thin layer of, uh, of uh, rust around its head. As it just... <laughs> And you can feel something power up in his chest as he starts to move toward you. So the chicken's doing something to the guy, and I'm just it's like... It's currently flapping its arms right now, just Do I kill chicken. it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and you're not holding a naked golden cold. I can explain. Don't do this. I need me. We need to stop him. Oh, by the I, way, I got a friend now as a... I uh, murder. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't get to the by the way. It's just like lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> Making a sneak attack uh, to roll damage and everything. You, just put you, the get, up you get critical. <laughs> you're holding them. You got a thirty plus. What I'm saying is that Since there's going to be more. Like, do I also get to do the wonder? <laughs> yes, you do. Okay. You're activating you the blade. Yes. Right. <laughs> oh no. Why there will be many more of those. Damn it! It's an eight. Okay. Okay. Um, well, so you can't do it every time. I know. But this would have been. <laughs> Funny. Man, do I hope I'm within five feet of this, people? Okay, so... Because I would love to use my Shield Master Sentinel. Um, sorry, I'm... And it's vitally important my... that you understand, I'm the real one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the fake one would say. It is absolutely what a fake one would say! <laughs> well, technically they're all real. Technically they're all real. Can I sneak you have some of that paint. indelible paint stuff still? <laughs> Here, I have you have to put your hand in this bag. <laughs> if you are the real Vedic, put your hand in this bag. What is in the bag? You won't lose your hand, I think. Do I know this bag? <laughs> I don't know. Do you know the bag? For it. You've seen this bag before. I've Guys, had. I'm trying to do math and I'm not good at it. <laughs> Take socks off. It's 39. <laughs> That's a sneak attack. The damage is way higher than my toes are going to help with. <laughs> You're 39. You've got like four more. It's fine. And this is why we need a foot camp, folks. <laughs> it's a Patreon only. Guys, what's 39 plus 15? 54. 54? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Plus 8. 64, 62. Okay, so 62. And they're not going to believe me, <laughs> but he had 61 hit points. <laughs> not all Vedic are as powerful as you. Not all Vedic's yeah. are created equal. Again, it's important to survive, that big, I so need that name Vedic's end as you kill another version. Yeah, oh, it's going to just, Can like... put a bell on him so we know which one? He goes Wait, by the... <laughs> and it's just, like, a glowy light goes up <laughs> through his head. <laughs> And then I dispel it and toss him out through the bubble, so he just. <laughs> and after a rethink, the last time you toss the, uh, um, it disintegrates. It's not just. It doesn't disintegrate. The momentum keeps. So, so he throws out, him out, and he continues to just float there. Yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> as you pass something really fast, you don't know what it is, but you probably an asteroid field. He stops. He's no longer there. Meaning he just hit something. At ridiculous speeds. Ludicrous. Dead. <laughs> there is no chance of reviving that one. I'm... It's one of those, until they uh, hit that, that bubble space, they're like, good, good, so good, and then they... Uh, Flint, have you calmed down? He stops literally whoop, about two inches from your head and just kind of rebacks and just... It was never going to hit. I mean, also, I had gone up, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll, but we'll, we'll let's say the it. outline of you. Yeah. yeah. We'll we'll go go I love the idea of the axe coming down and gets within two inches. She's like, I can still dodge. Yeah. <laughs> like, I can still dodge. Let's be honest, yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> At least another okay. point you didn't one. I saved Flint. Someone should buff his head. So Sylvan just... In Sylvan, he goes, What? And he's got, like, almost confused, non-face robot face. Son, I believe you returned. So, so wait, yes. let me I apologize. This. I, I need to go fix stuff. 
and literally just disappears under Start the with the hole in my boat! Fix your head, you've got a rust line! <laughs> literally, it's like, oh, and her rust is. <laughs> it's like, it's just scraping away all the rust is. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go fix something! So, so wait, so let me get this straight. You guys have been just murdering Vedics for the past few days? And you didn't think to include me? I feel well, like we were a little preoccupied at the moment with like self-preservation. And no, I also killed this! And I hold up a lantern and there's a glowing lich skull waiting for me. He also wanted to kill Vedic. I mean, I get it. <laughs> also, I get it. I've, I've known you for three months, and I get it. Also, uh, there is a very, 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 very pissed off mechanical god that uh, wants me to kill him. There's a, a spectral black dragon. Why would get in fucking line? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do, but he didn't kill me to do it. When there's a, a spectral black uh, avatar of the Raven Queen on your shoulder right now, holding a arrow in its beak. Oh. Mm -hmm. About nine foot in length. A nine foot arrow? Nine foot bird? Nine foot arrow. What the hell? <laughs> what am I firing this out of a balance? What is this shit? <laughs> the length is nine feet, but it is the normal shaft of a normal Yeah, I arrow. get that. But what? It's, what? it's literally ridiculous. And What's this, so it's, well, this it's being carried by black, a spectral bird. It might be a spectral this arrow. This raven made out of spectral just shadow. Yeah. Red point pinpoint energies of light, mm -hmm. and it's just continually like flowing with uh, mist off its back. Yeah, like, it, like, the, like it's constantly melting but not going anywhere. Yeah, correct. Right. It's very cool. Contesting on your shoulder, and all you see on this do you very. Have, do you have a kiss for daddy? Next, you in this uh, cheap. <laughs> it's a bird. Bird, <laughs> bird kiss. <laughs> <Not bleeding. laughs> Take what one the point face? That's the money maker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. We, take we all know the hips are the money makers, but still, <laughs> would you rather take the arrow the barrier out of your other eyes? This arrow, nine foot in length, yeah. gnarly barbed tipped oh. arrowhead, uh, spectral raven feathers, mm -hmm. fletching, beautiful, seems to be inlaid with gold. And with your passive perception, you notice that the entire shaft with fossilized wood, but yet still has a flex to it. Mm. It seems to be written in impossibly, imperceivably, except for yourself, because you know, you're awesome. Celestial writing. Do you know Celestial? I do. Oh, oh it's a nine foot arrow. Make an arcana check. Mm -hmm. As it goes all along the, sp I love the entire arrow, and there seems to be this almost, What's the weapon that has the chain ball at the end? Flail. A oh, flail. Like a flail center of just raw iron that seems to be giving off that same mist, but it's always flows backwards as if it's being fired. 31. Natural 20. You needed a DC 30 to understand what this no is. No way! <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I, my Archon is actually not that good. But I, I used to be that is incredible. That's natural 20. That's, That's incredible. That's the only way done it. So at this point, I need everyone to get out of the room except for him. Because he's about to want oh, to really? Sleep. Okay. Vedic, uh, Vedic, I am really wondering whether or not you should be here. At all. I'm okay. so close. Are we going to do this Quick again? reminder. If you go for him, I kill you. <laughs> again. <laughs> I am funny back guy. The warden couldn't kill him. And then the again, God put a bell on him. The, my God expects me to try you to kill that thing. A bell? The warden put it. I mean, that is fair. <laughs> okay. What? Hi. This is God's magic. Ooh. Wait. This. God? Or the Raven's just, God. Okay. This is the, ra uh, the Raven Queen. Okay. Strictly her. I should have known. Wrong music. There we go. In short, when you shoot this arrow, whatever it hits, it is meant to mark, we'll keep that for now, mark an entity's soul power of a greater entity, meaning a non-mortal. Mm -hmm. So a, a, a individual that is either achieving godhood or a god or whatever, but specifically with the DC-30, a entity that is a, it is transitioning from mortal to demigod something or lesser god. Something that's ascending. Something that's going to be ascending. You having this right now indicates that you that she knows someone's going to attempt ascension 
And she and I'm she's giving you the arrow to mark where the power is going to be stored when they take in all this power mm -hmm. and basically create a, a battery house. This battery house is going to be somewhere, either in, somewhere part of them or somewhere in, like dimensional wise yeah, in any places. Because theoretically, if you're able to stop them with this little basically tracker, which is also going to do a lot of damage to the person, mm -hmm. uh, whoever gets hit by it, if you stop them from absorbing this power, it's just a full battery house ready for the taking. And then you notice I'm written in between yes, written in between the lines is Sylvan specifically written from the Raven Queen to you, knowing that you, with your impossible capabilities and unchained fate, you read the loose on the heart of tyranny. And loose as in loose thing. Yeah, I get, I get yeah. that. Yeah. Do you have any questions before I call people back? Actually, make an insight check. Another natural 20. Fuck are you, man. Okay, well, the Raven Queen's right next to you. You're feeling inspired. You got a kiss, too. 34, 39. Jeez. The first thing right off the bat, and after the steps of coming in consciousness, going through the annoyance and finding other versions of FedEx, one you have a feeling that there's a version of Fedek that is going to be achieving demigod, if not godhood. Mm -hmm. And this arrow is to stop it, to prevent an enemy to the Raven Queen herself. Really tempted to now, poke Fedek with it. <laughs> with a impossible DC, you read into the a little bit of what the Raven Queen is also intending. She has not decided if you were going to get the power of this uh, arrows, basically, yeah, flag because it's not attuned to you. Yeah. It's not going to transmit the essentially. The, it's going to leave the energy there. Yes, but it's not going to necessarily feed it to me. Correct, Got and it. it's not going to feed you the information of where it is. So take that how you will. Okay. I don't know. If, I don't know if the Quinn has designs on that. It's always uh, situational. Yeah. It's, like, it's never a plan until it's like... Mm. <laughs> at, at this point, Quinn is looking forward to retirement. <laughs> at this point, you feel another energy in your body. And with your other natural 20s, I'm just going to give this one to you. You feel a completion of a demonic pact trying to take root. You feel specifically your father's pact. Mm -hmm. Upon his death, he's dying now. The pact is trying to take hold of what he promised, which was all but one of the heirs and lineages of the next generation underneath him, except for one. And you, along with your brother, mm -hmm. were not the chosen to survive on his death. It was her. It was her and the child. But the DC is greatly reduced because theoretically, you disheired the entire lineage of the lion. Yeah. You no longer bear their heritage, name, or heirlooms. That lowers the DC by five. But I killed, and, I killed the brother, so he's already gone. Yes, and he's already gone. And on top of that, uh, the DC lowers down to 15 on top of that uh, because uh, you also horrifically humiliated a Baylor no-nut, essentially. Uh, and not many people, are, uh, demons, are willing to <laughs> make good on that path. Yeah, no, because no one wants to come try and collect. Yeah, yeah. I was like, eh. So this is a charisma 15 DC saving throw. And I know what I said, but this is after like what you've done and everything, and you've just you disowned your uh, background and your family ties and all that, and the ring. I need to not roll a natural one. Exactly. Eight plus 16, 24. You kind of just literally just mentally just scoff it away as the pack is remain open and then closed after... <laughs> can, can I have a little cinematic license for this? Yeah. So, like, I feel like my father's dying. His, like, as his last breath, like, there's this demonic, like, hand reaches out to, like, grab a hold of my soul. And, like, I close my eyes and, like, I catch that hand and I see the one and I just go... and pull his hand off and disappear. 
No intimidation needed. I already know what you can roll. Two natural 20s. They're never going to come after you. I kind of hope they do, because I could use some light work after all of this bullshit. Oh, I know, (laughs) but you also... Let's just say this. Make a... Using your uh, tracking capabilities as a hunter for specialized in demon. Oh god. So make a make a uh, survival, survival check at advantage. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, plus my demon bonuses, mm-hmm. so I'm doubling my proficiency. So. Correct. This is going to be a ridiculous roll. I already know this. It's uh, 19 plus 15, so... Gee, okay, past 30. Yeah. You know the layer, or sorry, not the layer, but the location in the abyss. Mm-hmm. You know where to go to go greet them, this household, and that succubus. And that special someone that the succubus serves. Got it. I, I just kind of like make a mental note. Yeah, yeah, because you, yeah. you literally. Sixty like, fourth layer, just past the river, over the mound of burning souls. Yep, got it. <laughs> and we'll just say. The person that was trying to grasp your heart was that Merilith that was also humiliated. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. With uh, along with that ga- uh, uh, no not Baylor, uh, currently on the floor crying <laughs> and is half the size uh, right now than uh, what you last saw him because he's been humiliated. He's going to be demoted. He was never the one in charge because a structured society is the enemy of demons. Yeah. A Merilith can be the ahead oh, of yeah. Baylor, and because Merilors are also bad badasses and can arguably kick their ass. Oh yeah. Anyway, so you yeah, get I, all that information. Apart from that, I like it. All right, all right, all right. Let's text them. <clears throat> Natural twenties, good lord. TWR. Oak. I would like to poke offer is what my phone just randomly decided to say I would do. There we go. So for those of you playing along at home with your own characters and dice, Quinn just became just that much more in touch with all the crazy cosmic bullshit going on. Not to mention his, you know, deific sugar mama. Nothing official yet. But then again, she's also the lady of mystique. Mm-hmm. She's never going to say it. She's never going to say it. I'm never going to say it. But you also have yeah. a fragment of the avatar of a god on your shoulders. Yeah. That's the difference. Aloha, motherfucker! We're, gonna say it. We're beyond Who's dead? Who's dying? Who are we killing? Who's being thrown into the astral sea? Well, Who's doing it? I'm trying to make it, not me. Did you put a bell on him? Uh, no and you would just give me a bell. <laughs> make a religion check. Make a religion check. <laughs> you laugh. I actually have that. I'm skill. not laughing at you. I'm laughing at you. <laughs> the smoking sparks. Right I am now. still seeming hours later. No, I'm actually, Quinn, make a religion check. That's a natural twenty, which puts me at thirty. All right, I'm gonna give you all motherfuckers new dice because there is. You gave good. me the dice. Go <laughs> the magnetic hey. bullshit. I rolled a nineteen. That makes it a twenty-two. Okay. You gave him the holder in okay. it. You gave me the loaded dice. <laughs> That's not right. And guess what? Still pretty good. I have a plus one. <laughs> That's really good for you. Okay. And the view is coming around. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Sparks and uh, I can't Bennett. I'm, I'm going to do you two first. And not do a religion check. You you have uh, you've been in the Ravens domain long enough that you understand. Oh, I feel like there. for her it would be a planes check. You know, like. This is still I, 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 God. Like my God this is still heaven shit. Yeah. I really need to talk to my God again because I, I am I not prepared for the, the mission so that they set me off. Because oh, well, I don't know shit. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's it, it, you've seen so much God shit because you've been in God domains and yada yada yada. It's like, mm-hmm. Sometimes it's fun uh, to not know what's going but, on. Okay, I'm so sorry, that, I can only assume. That it is false. You notice <laughs> a pulse of energy, divine energy. <laughs> I'm dying, you, I'm dying again. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm melting. I'm gonna melt. I'm gonna be a pillow right here, right yeah, now. Yeah. As you eyes go towards Quinn, but it wasn't divine. It was borderline heresy, and then got shrugged off. You don't know anything else apart from that, but you notice that something tried to touch one of your party members and failed. 
And then you notice the the fragment of the avatar of the Raven Queen on the shoulder of Quinn. Oh. Oh, we actually see this. I wasn't sure whether oh, we saw it. Oh, you see this. It's full Complete with the nine foot arrow and the arrow. Nine foot arrows into the quiver. And it's, you know, the quiver's like this big, and it's like, let's get the tip in and just shoot sure. right down into the quiver. You can even hear grinding on the inside of it. And he's like, well, I'm not the time for this. <laughs> so, so what happened? Quinn, you smell Amazing. a smite, oh. yes, the smite <laughs> of a god on Sparks. You know how I said I had a really pissed off God? Yeah? Yeah. Usually they send people for that sort of thing. I am what they sent. Do we, do we want to be on the same ship as you right now? I don't want to be me, honestly. That wasn't my question. I don't think anybody wants to be you. So. No, no, I, no. I just kind of nudge and stand between you and him and just... I'm honestly I, less worried about. Imagine stand between the warden tried to kill him and failed. I can't kill him. Doorway. Okay. I'm concerned about a god taking over your body and enacting their vengeance against him, and I'm still. I yeah I. It doesn't matter who's piloting you. I'm supposed to stop you if they go for him. That's another issue. Flint comes running upstairs and chucks a crate over the side of the ship. Find another one? And he goes back downstairs. <laughs> there was a bomb! He made me do it! I'm sorry! <laughs> and you hear it just detonate. Ooh. Thank you! I think. Was there another hole in the ship? I didn't know you could do that. Did it get past the ship? Can you make another one of those? No, he threw it over. Uh, right, but I'm saying, like, did it go far enough away that it did? Oh, yeah, it okay. definitely, yeah. Especially was... with the dish and everything. It was like a small little firework <laughs> by okay. the time it went off. Cool. But it, uh, if you're all smart enough, that would have been really bad, especially if it was placed on a certain engine component. I, I just have this image that, all right, there's like a bubble around our ship. Like it's open 100, air, yep, right? 120. But there's a bubble around it. Yes. I just have this image of someone like throwing something out of the bubble. Like they throw it off the port side of the ship and it goes yes. sailing and it hits the bubble and all of a sudden it's straight up going away from us. Because direction doesn't mean shit in the astral sea. Yep. <laughs> It gets fucky in here real fast. I actually like how they cover in the rules that, that there's a there's a center axis, there's a planar axis on the ship. So if you throw something, it goes down, but once it passes, gravity takes it back up, and it just sort of oscillates there. And, and <laughs> <laughs> Things can still leave the bubble. Otherwise, there'll just be a bunch of, like, shit underneath your ship all the time. It's just all the corpses of all the things. All the corpses. <laughs> it's it's the bathrooms, bathrooms, that's the thing. I like to think there, there, there are a handful of tiny bedic bodies that are just sort of following in our wake. No, that's the moon that you just left. That's currently a ring of that's dead That's not bedics. a handful. <laughs> like I said, there's a reason why the planet of Omara now has a ring. Yeah, and there's a bunch of uh, religious people going fucking lunas, uh, Chris, because there was a temporary golden Vedic god for about five minutes. Fighting something Keep very dark. a minute. <laughs> Apparently we gave you five. Okay. <laughs> Golden versus dark and nefarious fighting out in the astral pe astral plane in the middle of the night with people watching. Now when I say Golden God, that's a perception. That's not what happened. But uh, thank you for clarifying, so I didn't have to hear about that on the drive home. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah. We've got what happened? Pilot the ship. I have no idea what's uh, going on. What, 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 what did you read there, buddy? Well, someone you seemed to have be looking like this. You were like this, going. We have to slide it back to get to the other row. <laughs> someone is making a play at Ascension, and potentially it's one of you. One of me? Yes. One of mine? Potentially. No, no, it's you. It's not me. It's him. I'm pretty sure it's you. I'm yeah. pretty sure it's him. But I've been given the a tool to prevent this. Or, if nothing else, light a beacon that anyone else out there who wants to stop a new god from kicking around town. Seems perfectly right. Reasonable. Is it you? Also, it's not me. a particular <laughs> demon thought that because... Oh, good news, guys, my father said. Uh, a particular demon thought that because there is a debt that is owed by our by my former bloodline that they could come to collect, and I educated them as to the other thing. Okay. Will they be coming back? I highly doubt it. Good job. Have a cookie. 
Ooh. Ooh, with almond butt. <laughs> How do you get him so moist? New head cannon. Todd is slowly poisoning us. She just had to introduce the second pa- part of the poison. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame Pastor. I don't think, be surprised. I think that's a new headcanon. That's, that's, that's how she's written on the back of her character sheet since day one. You are ascribing <laughs> so much depth to Todd right now. <laughs> it's just well, the bunny. let me Don't add. Let me add to it. I was recently contacted by my goddess. <laughs> so are we just all puppets of different gods? <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, haven't we always been? No. Really, Equus? No. She is not a god. Goddess? All right. She is Large, not a god. The point is, is that fit. my yeah. my <clears throat> close enough. My goddess recently <laughs> whisper time. Whisper time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Todd mm-hmm. takes out the paints, draws a whiteboard, and hands everybody <laughs> a mark. She says, "Yeah, he no, no, invented no, no, a dry erase no, technology." No, 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 no. <laughs> We've had the board forever. <laughs> yes, we we'll have the fence. I didn't know we brought it with. <laughs> it's, 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 it's perpetual. It's, it's perpetually ominous. It's always there. <laughs> always there. Omnipresent. Who think one universe, one in a circle? <laughs> I think it's like zero. Zero. Uh, zero. I like mine better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, half one. Hmm. That's a problem. So, um... <laughs> no, make a deception check real quick. That's a problem? What's a problem? I still like the six. Nope. Five bad vestiges. So is yours bad vestige or is mine bad vestige? <laughs> I picked up someone Sorry, else's. Sorry, what am I rolling? Oh, Deception? Okay. <laughs> That's a five. Uh, everyone notices you were about you were about to talk and then you stop it. And then you continue talking with a clear indication of he just received the sending. <laughs> My goddess is sending messages that uh, there is another one of me that came in. Or at like least something ball. that looks like me, and is attempting to make a play at her godhood. And she's just asked me to come and help her right now. So it is actually vitally important that we finish what we are doing now and get there pronto. Is this Yay! A- time constraints! Is this a different thing than the going and killing the guy thing that we're doing right now, or is this the same thing? Wait, which guy, what guy are we doing? We're doing, we we doing something with your ex-girlfriend and the asshole who took my stuff. Isn't that Drake? Oh, the silent smile? No, that's oh, not smile. No, <laughs> but that's involved. It's just not this. So we have another thing. It's another robot. From you. To my understanding, <clears throat> since we're le- since we're laying cards out on the table. To my understanding, that uh, there's the there's the evil green dragon, the exalted claw, bitch. Yeah. No, no, she doesn't. She doesn't get to dignify the title she picked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. I mean, you did flip the book twice, which no longer has ovum, so does. <clears throat> it is attempting, likely, to make a play at godhood. Let's be clear about that, and is controlling the great big ugly Tarask. That has yet to come. No, we have to stop that. But we've got this other problem that this that the the draconic the great draconic goddess came down and uh, came to hunt me down. But it looks like an alternate me from a different reality got may have gotten to her first. <laughs> and we are currently headed towards just to get the synopsis completely out of the way. We are currently headed towards a ziggurat that I once placed somewhere back in antiquity in the astral sea. Uh, which contains a relic which will protect us from, well, divinity. So we're going shopping and then we're going after your ex <laughs> Yes. Okay. So wait, does, we're going to the Pyramid Mart. Is that what you're saying? Am I dead? So I get my power from divinity. Does that mean I'm not going to have my power? I don't know how this If your works. divinity keeps trying to Maybe take a stab at him, you're not going to have any power. So far, it's been exceptionally useful, but I also have a bone to pick with my god. No, you'll be fine. Okay. Big ol' eye Deception five. I don't know. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. <laughs> you are this close. You are this close to me being someone who 
is very open to letting people be who they need or want to be. It's this close to being more trouble than, than you're worth. I understand. <laughs> I'm sorry, does Egg make decisions about who's in the party now? I would like to resign. Unfortunately, Egg won't allow that. Neither would Nicholas. <laughs> Since we just established that Eck makes decisions about who's at the party. I didn't say that. I just said that. No, no, no. She said that. Oh. So, and since you don't, since you won't allow her to resign, you also have to inform those, like, 11 other randos from that last oh. village that they're apparently in our party, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> we have more people in the party? Every time he goes drinking, we pick up, like, eight new party members. I don't think that's why everyone on the ship is part of our party. What's going on? All right, that's our next D and D campaign. Is a bunch of people had a bender with Eck and came showed up the next morning ready for adventure and they're long gone. <laughs> well, wait, I have didn't a note. get all dressed up for nothing. <laughs> and then wait, he left a note. I thought that was that so it starts. <laughs> our quest is to fly into the great mighty Eck. He will lead us. He will. Such wisdom behind those shelves. He speaks in cones and riddles. <laughs> yes, we are going on a trex. Oh. Are you sure I can't resign? <laughs> you just gotta take it with that. <laughs> and since he doesn't actually know what resign means, I'm gonna guess the answer's no. <laughs> and there I am shaking the big old, the, 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 the half barrel. Well, it's actually only about that wide, but it's a barrel head. About that wide, it holds like what sixty or something gallons. Mm -hmm. Something like that. All... <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> like leaning it to pour out the left. Oh god. It's probably getting pretty close. It's probably getting pretty close. close. Getting getting close. Hops. <laughs> oh. I'm probably gonna need to refill it at some point. I have not refilled it since the start of the no, game. Haven't. I got it to like level four. <laughs> I have not refilled it since. Yeah, but also, well, actually, yeah. It's probably pretty drained by now. Yeah. And realize I'm going to go shit balls crazy without any beer. Stop drinking it then. Well, at least until I get more. I oh, the say, pretty good stuff in the astral sea. Death thing is proven to not be really worth it. Do you brew something with like, the astral sea? Be a light and Rushing that actually uh, uh, talks up on that. Actually, that's a good question. Technically, you're not able to age, nor do does the passage of time work normally in the Astral Sea. But so technically, things... you can't age any alcohol. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Time is different in the Astral Sea, so when we get back to Vilmara, is we, are we not, is it going to be like years later, or like past? Like, no, 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 this isn't the Feywild. <sighs> that doesn't help. But it does, it, it, we'll it's all the way to the time time time. It's all this handbook, I tell you. It's very handy. <laughs> it's, it's a handbook for the living dead. You want the other one. Yeah, oh, sorry. You want the hitchhikers? <laughs> yeah. This is 101 space travel. Not the Never Not one uh, well, it says don't panic in friendly letters on the <laughs> cover. It's all don't eat that. <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> it's good shit. Uh, but yeah, it, it's. Uh, Did you bring a towel? It's something along the lines of towel. time passes normally, but we stop aging. We don't. Are you hungry right now? No. I mean, yes, a little. The answer is, <laughs> you want food, but you're not hungry. Do we metabolize food? Did you take a massive shit and you get back to your Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the material plane! <laughs> yes, like, <laughs> it's like a four-week deucer. <laughs> that explains you still so metabolize, <laughs> But you're not, like, needing it. <laughs> You really bring a certain class to these proceedings, Kevin. I'm just so glad y'all made sure I could make it back there. <laughs> Sorry for the ship. Most of that was my fault. No, the visualization of, like, Get Yankee coming from the astral sea to here after 500 years of eating. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> so how far away is shopping? <laughs> uh, yes, and... Roughly 17 hours away. Okay. I'm gonna say 16 hours now. Alright, I'm gonna repair right. the ship. So this this queen, this woman, this thing that's looking to go to godhood, playing the player for godhood, is controlling the Tarrasque? The Illithid Fae Demon Tarrasque? Yes, that one. 
It's like these things just have remote controls that keep getting passed around. Uh, like, no, no, it's my turn to pilot the trash. The trash that hasn't been hatched yet. Are we able to Correct. get that egg and keep it from hatching? Can we just dump it in the astral sea? Does that keep it from has hatching? Or it keeps it from someone else's. Problem? It keeps it from happening on our planet. Mm. <laughs> Good luck finding an ast a tarasque egg in the astral sea. We yes, could just like not what? take it to a volcano. What? Well, imagine like if it just happens to you know. Well, I feel like the volcano pokes up against to a planet. Okay. What happens when a tarasque hatches? While meteor meteoring into a plane. <laughs> <laughs> it's called an at the awesome speed of a, I mean, I've seen this jammer. game. It's called Chrono Trigger. <laughs> at the speed of a, at the speed of a spell jammer, launching itself into a plane. Actually, that is a very fair question. Prior to the meteor thing, uh, Vedek, roll a Arcana check. This is, I'm good at these. This time shenanigan is your expertise. I'm pretty sure something like that, traveling that fast, would be a, a world-ending calamity just is, from the impact. But if time isn't moving, is it really moving that fast? Good point. Relative to what? The other point? Well, it's, it's, it's not going to incubate. Um, so it could just stay in the astral scene definitely. Free rolling it, it's 28. 28? Okay. DC 25. Right? This is a right. scaling DC. So it's one of those, like, if you roll this, sure. that, yeah, well. Okay. So yeah. there's a lot of time shenanigans going on. You're not the only one trying to do time shenanigans because of seer bullshit. The Shadow Monarch, the one that runs the ex Exalted Claw, also aka It Bitch, by your definition, uh, is doing time shenanigans as well. To just show no, up well. without any time shenanigans and to plop the egg and throw it into the Astral Sea or into another volcano or on a different planet, it is always, currently always faded to explode in that volcano and we'll find a path there. However, if you snip the Shadow Monarch away so that she's no longer able to pull the strings of fate. I like this path. I do. You are able to untangle fate and make it less severe or outright not happen. Right. We can make was, things better. That's what I so was. there might still be a trash, but it won't be a shadow. We can still kill a trash. We or we could dress. shoot it into space, and that would be a completely different reality. Well, we do have a ship called the Lawn Dark. Now, why don't we all just deal with it? That said, with that in play, so many strings with a 25, so many strings have been pulled on both sides that a disaster will happen. It doesn't have to be the trash, but a disaster will happen. Well, that's why we have the Chosen of the World Tour. Mm -hmm. So, remember... The one that asked such deep wisdom as soon as it was lifted up to its snout. So, remember that just trying to see the future changes it. But nothing in that, in that truism does it say you actually have to have the ability to see the future. So sometimes when I'm eating breakfast, I'll just try and picture the future to fuck up everybody's prognostications. Are you, are you trying to explain Schrodinger's Displacer Beast to me? <laughs> <laughs> but you're the only one I can have these intelligent conversations with. I got Ick and Oak over here. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Displacer Beast. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? <laughs> so, so, we've got 16 hours. I'm going to yeah. memorize some scrolls and take a long rest. All right, yeah. I'm going you to got, try. you got time to kill. I'm right now, and with all of your luck checks, I'm going to be straight off. With your two natural 20s, because you missed another natural 20 when I asked him to do that. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it is fucking luck city right now. When your natural 20 luck check, and then everyone's natural 20s during the uh, Vedic Apocalypse, as 63 Vedics went Wait, into the galaxy. The golden morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the Golden Disaster. <laughs> the di Disaster the of Gold. Golden Tides. There you go. Yeah, Disaster of Gold. Uh, <laughs> you're not going to be touched for the next 16 hours. You can do whatever you want across this ship. Uh, you found another Vedic. You kicked him off. He's dead. You killed him, actually. So, what do you want to do? I would like to make repairs to the ship that hide all evidence that I damaged the ship. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Are you trying to keep it, like, also stealthy at the same time? I am working ahead of him. <laughs> Got it. Make, make an active stealth check. Make an active perception check. I love it. <laughs> 30. 
32! <laughs> <Whoa! laughs> She's got nothing to see! <laughs> Let me just remove this scorched bunny print from this. Yeah, 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 yeah. A couple times you. Hey, Great question! Mm-hmm. Do any of my favorite enemy bonuses count against her? I don't think so. Do you have Faye? Do you have. Yes, I'm not Faye. She's not Faye. I'm not Faye. You're not Faye? Oh, no. She's undead, right? No. I am. She is. She's. I am re alive. I I am not undead. Humanoids, Faye, and fiends. I am none of them. No. So, no. I mean, she might be a shadow bunny from the shadow pill. Okay. That doesn't mean... Because if I have that. shadow energy, but I am not... Because then it would be 36. <laughs> Which would be a bummer. But... <laughs> but as it is, you're like... Nigh, 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 nigh. Yeah, Ek did so much damage. I just can't believe he would do that. <laughs> I think... Just, I think the, well. only, like, the most damage he did was in the helm with the lightning burst. Yep. Uh, so you get distracted when you go to the helm, and you see a nice new skylight in the familiar shape of a, a, a certain titan form face. Oh, uh, I thought it was like a, a, of a, no, like a round with legs and arms. No, no, it's plastic. it was when the wily coyote. Yeah, yeah my when face. you chained it, when you jumped out into space, and then you uh, pull yourself no. in. So you're like, I was along no for the ride. Yeah, I was the reason why. Well, God, that means we. It was run. that or get eaten by. Like 60,000 cobalts. So I gave us a head start. And I had to jump. So I harpooned to the back of the ship. You know, also known in the captain's quarters. It was really your response. There's also in the captain's quarters, there's a giant Titan's pie quarters. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) That just pushed in all the glass and windows because he pushed the back of the ship. I had to get it going. And then I pushed it too far. I was like, like, no. Let me see. Let me roll survival. And then there's to a see scene. if I actually can recognize. And then there's a giant his hole. His level of responsibility. Yeah. And then there's a giant hole where. Yes. Yes, yes I can. And, and I then have there's a giant. Hole. They have these harpoon okay. to get over on the ship. And they grab him. Yeah, and then there's a, a harpoon hole that spear through two walls into someone's bed. You can decide whose bed. <laughs> I don't have one. Not mine. It's a good thing that was Quinn's bed. <laughs> <laughs> it is the back part of the ship. That's where I have the harpoon. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was a life or death situation that I had to do it in the moment. If that if that wonderfully um, manufactured mattress wasn't there, that would have been a lot more dense. <laughs> that mattress was worth more than you are. Which isn't that much. It was diatrima down. Do you know how hard it is to pluck a diatrima, let alone enough to make a down comforter? Really, this is all Vedic's fault. <laughs> <laughs> this is whoa, whoa, it's whoa. None of this would have happened. You have to fight in a non Vedic yourselves. <laughs> if you weren't you, this wouldn't have happened. It wasn't me. Literally, I was not me. What was 60,000 other yous? <laughs> <laughs> All this is going on like Oh no, like he started to turn and I was like, really? It's all that it's small. And it's just like, <laughs> like, like I, I I go back up on deck and I, I pull out one of those arrows that I have that, like the, the greater slaying arrows. Like, I wonder if I just loft this up and then catch myself in the back of the head as we go forward. Gonna <laughs> add two hit points to the ship with Todd's repairs in a short time of being stealthy of damage. I put <laughs> I uh, It's very I, clean and slightly fixed. I, I assign because I actually have, name, I have the name do. of our crew actually. Yes. Uh, our clockwork wizard at Twister. Twister, uh, yes, he's currently on the helm right now. Our, kind of just uh, going back and the, forth of arguing. Because he's the navigator. Arguing. Yes. Yeah. But also, we have a cannoner named Felton Tezelzempi, otherwise known as the Rusty Nut. Yeah, he's currently going through the manual ah, of interdimensional. I'm sorry. He's I'm that sorry, I'm a child. <laughs> yeah, he's our, he's our halfling artificer. He, he, he needs to be making repairs right now. Uh, yeah, he's already way on it. You notice that his uh, shoulder-mounted extra arm has turned into a finger-pointed uh, nut uh, screwer, and he's currently just... <laughs> And he's currently like holding gun. other pieces of plywood, trying to like cover these massive holes that would just take a normal ship. But you're not going to buy it. Yeah, yeah, I was. I'd be willing to trade one. Look, or, one or more of you for my ship not being. To like, be fair, roll a d twenty, add twelve. To be fair, we did escape a very pissed like, off uh, void 29. dragon. Twenty nine. Uh, roll three d six. And these are 
uh, non dry dock got it. repairs. Yeah, got it. So it's like you can only do that so It's slap dash. Yeah. It's how do you have a dry dock in space? Uh, well, it's called you dock, and then you start working. You get back 13 more. Yeah, 13 more. You can do I that. I am uh, able to create mm. materials though. Or I was seeing if I had make hole. They have raw material on the vessel. Okay. A little Maybe. less because it kind of spilled out a little bit. I have many. Right. Maybe well, it's only minor If there's repairs, anything where, like, you know, you there was a window materials. that needed um, to be probably, done. Like, hey, I'm thinking I might have something like better that. for like, you. Like, I, the captain's quarters, but all the windows are fucked. Okay, so then after I'm done with the, the buffing, the, the one point of healing or whatever that I did, I, like, you have all your windows back. I, like, drew them in. I have fabricated. Ooh, and they have that fabricate weird artistic view. That's I would love that. Because fabricate turns raw general, materials uh, into finished goods. Dex plus performance check. So she can Just create see materials. How well they're made. You can turn them into finished goods. Uh, am I gonna feel like I'm in Toontown? Maybe There's not a single straight line. <laughs> no, I'm very talented. But thanks. Um, that's plus thirteen. Twenty four. Twenty four. Describe what you make. Honestly. Um. I mean, I try to match the aesthetic of the ship, but the 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 perspective that you get out the windows is slightly distorted. Like I didn't quite get the lines right. So it's that perspective, right? But like, so like, so like everything in this window looks bigger. Everything in this window looks further away. Or like one of them is angled this way, and then you move next to it, and it's angled this way. Like I forgot that I was. I'm just picturing those glasses they used to give you in high school that simulated being drunk. Yeah. Where like makes one eye look that way. So like if you look out two window, if you stand far enough back that you're looking out two at the same time, you get a headache after about five minutes. But if you're looking out just one, it's fine. Okay. And Positive view, you'll never. Be assassinated. <laughs> <laughs> <Aha>! <laughs> what? <laughs> Come through the window and the floor. <laughs> Who's that going? <laughs> really, it was defense. It was on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're showing up my defenses. Absolutely. Because out of all the party members, I'm the one who needs defenses against assassination. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> totally. Everyone who wants to kill him is on the ship. <laughs> You're not wrong. I killed Nick. He did. He made me snore. I, I hate that. Go to sleep, little man. Oh, great. I'm going to have to post up outside his goddamn bedroom and keep him goddamn alive. This is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> self satisfied <laughs> shitty grin. Medic. I'm a problem. Everyone's <laughs> <laughs> paying so much attention to me. I don't know what I did, but I like it. What are you, our dogs? <laughs> No, he's a teenager. He's he's taking shit so that he gets more attention, regardless if it's positive or negative. I love it. Again, what is he, my dog? Mm. <laughs> so, I'm gonna say that's uh, unless you want to start taking exhaustion points, that's about as much of like repairing you can do on the vessel and still maintain uh, the speed, direction, and having to fly. Yada yada yada. I'm doing um, literally nothing and trying to just recuperate. Yeah, no worries. You're, I'm you're exhaustion too. You got 16 hours to pound out two uh, two long rests if you so want to. Yes, technically you're not supposed to in 5e, but after the Back and to back to back to back slog fest. Fun fact: the DM gets to make up whatever fucking rules they want. So. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Mm -hmm. Rule zero. If I can make NPCs called Rusty Nut, I can also okay, make so up. It's okay. <laughs> I don't think that's how I can. <laughs> I think he's get a shot for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's you know, it hurts. <laughs> um, over the course of this, as I do take my long rest, I'm going to update my whispers of the dead. Um, okay. It's going to be investigation now, mm -hmm. and I am going to wake up with the screams of an undead lich coming out of my mouth, and then <laughs> I am posted out. I am door, going to so... <laughs> since we are in the actual sea. I am going to make sure I wake up with. Air. At this point, I'm just like, well, I guess that's a thing now. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I am going to attune to the air medallion. Easy enough. Since we are the actual sea, actually, it helps in this air dome. You are a fresh air generator. That's a first. <laughs> That's like the exact opposite. Why <laughs> <laughs> suddenly everyone's smiling? You're normally a foul air generator. 
Hey, when you're traveling through the Astral Sea, a little bit of breeze, whether it's, you know, a little salty, in more mm-hmm. ways than one. <laughs> <laughs> I will not be scared by anything. <laughs> I have my mouth open and everything. She's all, she's all, why didn't I have cranks on the windows? <laughs> it's salty, but not all together. <laughs> it's salty, but not all together. So <laughs> it's <laughs> oh, that's a. I love that description. Anyway, uh, I, so about that screech thing about the <laughs> ledge thing. Just the whole whenever I wake up, since I can only reset my thing on a long rest, it's the <coughs> screams of the dead. But my most recent kill was a ledge. Yes. Yeah. So he was a controlled ledge, but he was still a ledge. Yeah. So now I have new fun screams. Yay! <laughs> I'm also worse at the banjo. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> Somehow. That's the weird part. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I think she's getting worse, but I strangely think I like it. <laughs> <laughs> you ever try to play a dirge on a banjo? <laughs> it always just does. It just refuses. <laughs> you, 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 you're trying to play a funeral march and it just comes out of his foggy mountain. Right <laughs> <out>. <laughs> You know, if I roll poorly, that's how I would like it to go. Okay. <laughs> the performance wasn't bad, it was just it's, it's, not no, totally it's, it's appropriate. A it's a banjo. You know what you're in for. It's like uh, trying to play a happy song on the bagpipes. <laughs> it doesn't. The closest you get is the, the chorus of co-workers singing you happy birthday. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> During this long rest, uh, is there anything apart, any shenanigans and stuff like that? You said you were making scrolls. Uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm memorizing some stuff, and yeah, I'll burn, I'll I'll create some, I'll throw some scrolls okay. together. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Just let me know what you create uh, mm-hmm. when you are done with that. Uh, apart from that, you all take a long rest. Congratulations! And then you get a little confetti over Venex. <laughs> Level up. I have no idea how that happened. I was cleaning it, and it went off. <laughs> No, that's a bunch of confetti for... for Congratulations on Lightweight. <laughs> so close yet so far to level so 9. Spells. I have the slot that so I can throw a nice Make an arcana check slot. real quick, please. Oh, and everyone remember your five template points. Yes. From your morning snacks. Mm. Yeah. They, uh, they also remember your they or go away. from those same morning snacks. They stay or go away. <laughs> In poisoned condition. Oh God, I healed up. I was hurt bad. Uh, twenty for the arcana roll. Twenty. Oh, well, I guess I should adjust that. Probably. You know, you are trying to be summoned by a gate spell, but with that same Whoa. arcana check, Whoa. you know that there are so many U's in the same galaxy that it's kind of a bit of a lottery machine right now. Right. right so, oh, 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 sorry. I, 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 I got this written down. I've been doing it since I got the eight level it? spell slot, but I, I want to make this exclusive. <laughs> Mind blank, first thing I do when I wake up in the morning. Ah. Does that block arcane? Yeah. yeah. Any, any kind of divination. No, no, no. It does blocks. that block gates? It, you can't be located, therefore you can't be gated. Yeah. It blocks wish. <laughs> wow. So let's just say there was a momentary gap of, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit, oh, shit you do! <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. Let's be quiet. That much. I, 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 just, I just don't Let this be the day. Let, let you remember this. This will be the day that you almost get him Vedic out of his own bed. <laughs> so at the same time, just for fun, roll a d100. <laughs> okay. Because that, that's what the roll would have been. A d100 roll of five. Ooh. Well, good thing you have my blood. Oh, jeez. I just picture that somewhere on Elysium or this one of the seven mountain heavens of Celestia, there is a cosmic claw machine that is just <laughs> reaching out, grabbing a random medic, pulling it through, a bunch of celestials are just smiting the shit out of the That's exciting! And then waiting happening. until someone has a ninth level spell slot again. <laughs> the problem is about Greater Vern, or Worms, uh, Greater Vern, Wyverns, uh, anyway, I, I fucked that up. But the p- point is, they're demigods and stuff like that. Especially with your uh, X, they have multiple ninth level spells. And the reason why I brought that up, the Warden had multiple ninth level spell slots. And that's and she's why still he... gonna kill you. And my god wants me to kill you somehow. Yeah. And after you reading You're really it, bitter did about you catch this. I'm very bitter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very mind. bitter about this. It's actually pretty easy. You just put some glass shards in this wine. <laughs> I'm a soldier. So you were casting an eight-level spell when you wake up in the morning? Every day. 
Yeah. Every for morning, he wakes up, Don't casts you? a spell, eats a muffin. There's a halo hanging from the corner of my four-post bed. And she will be loved. Speaking of which, when you first wake up, where are you on the ship? There's a lot of new holes and a lot of new cubbies and a lot of new... I mean, there is a designated mm. room that says Vedic, but, but do he's you actually... Memory. I'm not in that one. No, I'm, I'm in the one across from it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I can still hear if somebody comes looking, or especially if somebody comes to the door, you know? like. Mm. So you take one of the crew members' rooms? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, okay. I mean, they get an upgrade. Yeah, sure. How do they sleep in this room? This yeah. room's so much nicer. Uh, they, all take, they all take turns <laughs> drawing straws. Short yeah, straw gets you know, the room. You know, the, it was it was very nice at the beginning, but after seeing the, how many got and listening to your conversation, I'm like, uh, they they literally like the like who's going to go on death row this time? Do you try to hide that from me? What? That you're sleeping in a different room. I mean, can he? No, no, no he's not that. So look, this is we're, we're we're talking like you know, walking down the hallway. It's just leading the little narrow hallway, and there's Vedic and crew member number three, and just take and swap the name tag. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's a level a level. Of, <laughs> okay. Very obvious. I just Fish. picture like people come on deck, and Quinn's up there teaching his void Drake to play fetch. I mean, he's down for it. Okay. Yeah. He comes it. back a little bit. Uh, actually, no, he doesn't do a lot of physical damage. He does a lot of psychic damage. So it actually comes back. Yeah, pretty so nice. for inanimate objects, it's fine. Yeah, it's inanimate. But it does. It, <laughs> I'm gonna say every time you bring it back, his drool is also like an, uh, anti-psychic material. So it's like resonating with screams of mental destroying thoughts. It's like, hmm, why you didn't chuck it out? He just teleport. <laughs> the thing that I needed to add. It has Missy Step at will, mm -hmm. and it has Dimension Door once every short rest. Okay. Um, I've moved my cozy home to be outside of his door, so is this I... the is this the Bugs Bunny hole with a mailbox? Oh God, no! But it's on the inside of the other door that says Vedic. So anybody walks in and goes aha, and drops into a hole, and she, you don't even see just what like, happens. Just, it just, like, <laughs> just even worse, just like ah <laughs> oh, shit! It's like. All right. <laughs> you hear the sound of a wood chipper. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have me confused with someone else. <laughs> you may be thinking of my employer. <laughs> I do not employ wood chippers. She does that herself. She is the wood chipper. Just, just set the bunny. Very hands on. Set the bunny to like. So, Ben, you're in crew <laughs> station number three. There are two bunk beds there. It's a blender. So. Top bunk or bottom bunk? Top bunk. What are you, new? <laughs> <laughs> I had to ask it because of that. You could have been too drunk to get up there. <laughs> no. You, feel... you know that video of the dog who's trying to get the one foot just over and over and over again? <laughs> that said, you get another phone call. Oh, no. Not from your missus, not from another vet. Can you get phone calls? But from, from a person <clears throat> that you accepted divinity. I don't know who you are. Okay. I, don't I know need where everyone to leave the table. Oh no! Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Fine. I don't know who you this are. This one's a big one. Where you are. But yeah, I will skills. find you. I have certain, <laughs> <laughs> I have certain <laughs> skills that may be very difficult for people like there's you. The, there's a ringing sound. He looks around, takes off one of his horns, puts it on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Does it screw as well? It's poor. <laughs> <laughs> Do I hear it ring? <laughs> it's up to you at this point. You're taking off a horn. Sure. That's what the bell on the horn's for. Ring! I would like to eavesdrop. It was normally just on vibrate. All right, right. Uh, make a perception check. And make a uh, stealth check. <laughs> right, it's more just vibrating. Yes. It's not a prayer in hell. <laughs> Uh, that's a 20. Yeah, you, so, so you get the stay. That becomes a 36. Yeah, there's no chance in hell. So we are all leaving? Again? So you three, get the fuck out. <laughs> <sighs> this is the last one of the day, I promise. Uh -huh. No worries. Uh -huh. A lot of shit has been going down. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to save mm -hmm. your ass. I want to know what's going on. You hear a familiar voice because it's your voice, just in a parallel version. You remember this one being stuck in a contained area with mountains of gold. Hey, 
please, shit stain. You've done good. <laughs> Honestly, well, well done. I'm sorry, I don't accept phone calls from dead men. Who is this? Wait, hold on, whoa, hold on. I helped you, and honestly, I oh, like... Oh, that thing. Right. Yes, I'm... Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. I'm okay, now I know who I'm talking to. All okay, right. yeah, there's, I get it. There's a lot of edX out there. Just call me Fool's Gold for now. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so this is Fool's Gold. Pleasure to see you again, and I've been watching you, and holy mackerel, it's hard to watch you because of that powerful spell that you got. Good job, by the way. But, you know, the people around you, they don't have that. So, be advised, that's how they got me. Alright? That's how who got you? Me. Alright, alright, go on. Yeah. Other me's. Mm-hmm. But the reason for my call, I like your stuff. I don't like a lot of my styles. And I just mean that in a sincere compliment. I kind of want to let you in what I'm doing. By all means. So I'm stuck here. And what you're looking for, some sort of anti-god machine, a doohickey thing, I have it on me. I can give it to you, but I have something better. I noticed that you have a map, and I know what you've looked for. I found that thing, and that's why I'm here. This, uh... You're saying he's at the ziggurat, or he... I, to... I'm at your ziggurat, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm at your ziggurat. You're coming to me regardless, but I want to cut you in on the deal. If you help me release, just release me, and let me do my thing, I'll be able to take over the Shadow Monarchs domain. Sh I'll be able to take over the Shadow uh, Monarch. I'll reach great vibrant status, but frankly, chromatic is too stuffy for him. my taste. I'm gonna go metallic for a bit. While you take over the chromatic. Sorry, uh, I'll take over the chromatic, you take over the metallic. We'll work both sides of the schedules. We'll work together. You'll have True domain uh, over that bitch queen of yours, and I'll have true domain of the uh, assholes. See how that works out. We both reach uh, demigod and also potentially godhood, and we work both sides. Act like we're fighting, act like we're enemies, but always gaining more power and influence underneath us, you know. Then we get this straight. Mm -hmm. You want me? You're, you're, you're. We're, we're headed towards you. Yes. And you want me to release you so that you can become an even bigger pain in my ass. Well, I also have the coordinates, the final coordinates of what you need to do to get to your goal. Because I've already been there. And even if you follow that little shoulder-mounted map of yours, you're not going to find it without my help. Or helping yourself. I'll think about it. Put the hang of it. Sweet, 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 Anything else you would like to do before no. exiting your room? No, just so we're clear, not a chance in hell. <laughs> <laughs> not a chance yes, in hell. Yes, you also know, I mean, you know yourself. Make an insight check. It's not a good roll for me, although that was a good roll for me. 20. 20? I mean, it is yourself. You're insiding yourself. You're greedy. Sure. In all aspect, draconic greed is a thing, and it's very good. In your opinion, it's very good. But that doesn't mean you're going to be able to work with yourself. Right. Also, he there's did, no. He there's... Most certainly did not tell you everything. Right, and there's also no, uh, no, 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 no chance that they're a, a but double he, cross at all. You know yourself for certain that you are convinced fool's gold is Vedic fool's gold versus Vedic prime. Mm -hmm. He feels convinced enough that he sits on 
the side with the deck of cards. Meaning he is able to stack it and he's able to make it so that you have to work with him or unfortunately make a choice uh, that will favor him. So he probably sits on the item that you need and he might be telling the truth. Might be telling the truth about the last little thing about following the map again to uh, Meh. the time uh, keeper. Meh. Meh. All right. I don't care. Do we send that? Send, send that? Uh, yeah, I poked him. Okay. So you got the other side of the conversation. When you exit your door. Mm-hmm. My head is against it with the ear up. <laughs> <laughs> like, there is no shame or hiding going on with the fact right, that. So, how would you like to kill me? Which one? <laughs> now you're picking up. Follow me. <laughs> now, when you look down, you're the same height. No, no, I'm, like I'm like twice and, her height. He's two and a half feet taller than me. What's your t- size again? Three feet. Oh. Oh, he's a foot and a half taller. There than you me. go. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Sorry, I thought he was four yeah, feet tall. She's in, I'm here. I'm, 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 not, talking about, I'm not talking about the horns. No, <laughs> no. Like, I get up to two feet with the ears, okay. but... Yeah. No, it, there is very much a loop. Yeah, those sneak situation. attacks are always at the ankle. Like, <laughs> they never expect the ankles. And also, no. the Achilles heel is truly one of my nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> we could just take a break now. Do you want to take a break? Yeah, let's take a break. See you in ten minutes. Bye-bye now. Keep on rolling. Goodbye. I cannot help but notice the world is not the same as when we all got started and we know who's to blame. No turning back now to try to be insane. For what's beyond the veil, too vivid to explain. Faceless behemoths haunt my dreams, seeking to steal my sanity. Dead hand of the past.